our fight, the faculty strike for five days, was a very small part of that big picture. And what we were saying is that you cannot cut costs by cutting what you pay to workers at this university. It's really disappointing because overall like, this is a great school, but this is a nationwide thing, you know, administrators lining their pockets while claiming that we're in the financial crisis. Everybody keep coming out, keep voicing your opinion. This is a great school and I want to keep it great. The day it came together for me was on Monday when the students called for a strike in support of uh, the faculty. And uh, we gathered around outside the student center. And that's where tears came, actually, <coughs> for me. Because there was quite something to have students say, we want our teachers back. They were saying, as I understood it, we want this person with whom we had built a relationship. And these teacher-student relationships are lifelong relationships. It's not a relationship with a consumer. Whatever I teach in class, good or bad, it sticks with you. You know, I can't take it from you, nor can you give it back to me. And you'll make some sense of it in the light of your own experiences. So to reduce what happens in the classroom to a commodity that is delivered, it's anti-education. And as opposed to that kind of substitution, we had students who were saying, we want our teachers back. 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 We want our teachers back.